and he works in you as a believer. And we are working in, in a relationship with God, in agreement with God. So the Spirit of God lives within us and guides us. The advent of the work of the Holy Spirit became evident on the day of Pentecost. Now we know that before Jesus died, as a matter of fact, there were, as the scripture talks about, a person who, when they went to a certain place, there was a person that the disciples saw casting out evil spirits too. And they said to him, well, Lord, what is he doing? Well, he's, he's doing the same thing you're doing, but he's not with us. But it's by the same power, but uh, as we see in the re re as recorded, it was not yet fully given to man. Doesn't mean that someone did, wasn't led by the Spirit of God. Martyrs before Jesus died, and during his time, they were led by the Spirit of God. But here, the Word of God says this, that those who believe for an example, if you want to call it a sign, as you may, when God fully, intentionally poured out himself, but in other words, his, his Holy Spirit, to dwell upon and within those who would believe, to do the mighty works of the kingdom of God. In other words, they represent a kingdom that is different from the one on earth. We are living in this one. God tells us what to do while we're here. But he also tells us that he, the Holy Spirit within us, will demonstrate in this world the power of his kingdom where he is. And that's something. But the greatest thing about that is, he says, that the kingdom of, of heaven is where? Within you. We can't really understand that. But he's not asking us to really be able to fathom it. Because we have limited mind, mindsets. But he's asking us to what? Believe and function in what he tells us. That's, what he's, that's our responsibility. So then here, he de he's then able to, 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 to demonstrate the fortifying evidence of the work that he wants the believer to do in the earth for his glory. And it's beyond overcoming and rebuking Satan. God has placed you here. He lives within you to enjoy also what he has made in this earth. I like to go fishing. I like to do farm, little farming too. I like to do a lot of, I like to go metal detecting. That's beside being a witness for the Lord. I like to see beautiful places. I like to go on cruises. I like to fly in the airplanes. I like to meet new people. I like to discover things. To stay busy. Live longer. All, right? All of these things God has with me. I have problems too at times. I have tests and trials too. But see, when the Holy Spirit is with you, he opens your, your eyes to see the importance of the things God has developed and provided around you. He gives you a new mindset. Where you are today is you, that's the place where you are because of your mindset. It may not be exactly in the place where the Holy Spirit is leading you. But you need to get there to renew the way you think about what God tells you to do so that you can be where he desires you to be. The tests and trials that you have, the tests and trials, they are temporary. And you can allow them to affect your future if you so allow them. You can cause it, your future to change. Your destiny can be changed from this very day because of the Holy Spirit within you. And you listening, and you understanding, and you obeying. And John 14, 16 says, And I will pray the Father, Jesus said, And he shall give you another comforter, 